Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! You know guys, I've suddenly realized that we've never made any kind of a futuristic project here in my studio. We've never made, for example, an astronaut doll or we've never made a robot doll. Well, it's not like it's a necessary thing for a doll artist to make an astronaut doll at least once in his career. But anyway, you know, even Mattel have already made their astronaut doll to pay some sort of respect to all astronaut women here on Earth and in space. And that's why, guys, I've decided that today we are going to travel straight to the future, somewhere to the year, for example, I don't know, 2200, where Elon Musk has already conquered Mars and people have built beautiful cities on Mars and on Venice and on other planets and where spaceships from Earth traveling everywhere in the universe and of course people have a lot of robots. These robots help them to repair spaceships, for example, they help them to produce things and of course they have robots that help them to heal people, that people in the future don't end up in the same situation like we are now in 2020. So that's why I've decided to make a beautiful cyberspace nurse, something like this. I haven't found like the final name for this project yet, but you have seen the thumbnail already, of course, and you know it already better than I am now. But yes, it's going to be something, yeah, something like a space cyber nurse. I'm going to use a very unusual doll for this project. I will show you this doll in a second. And I'm going to use neon paint. We are going to make like a space robot nurse with neon accents. It's going to be very cool. So, I'm really excited about this project and I think it's time to start working for me. Of course, guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it's really important. I really hate starting my videos with this, you know, begging for likes and for subscription from you. But this is the only thing that actually helps my channel to develop, to grow and to reach more people. And you know, for you it's absolutely free. So it would be absolutely amazing if you could find the second and push this like button and of course subscribe button and the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos on Fridays. So this was a necessary part of the video and now we're going to start working on this very exciting futuristic project. And look guys what a special doll I've prepared for this project. You know, I've kept her really for years for some kind of a futuristic cyber makeover because of all these super detailed blueprints carved on her body. I don't know, I think this is one of the most beautiful Monster High dolls ever in the entire collection because her face is so pretty, the skin tone is phenomenal and these mechanical details are also just fantastic. So let's try to make her even prettier if it's even possible and we will start like always with removing everything from this doll. I use like always hot air of my hair dryer to make the rubber soft and to melt the glue inside of the head and after doing it for a couple of minutes I can easily disconnect the head from the body and remove the rest of the short hair that is still sitting inside of the head. And after this I'm taking pure acetone and I'm removing all this paint from her face and from her head. Thank you. 
I want to give her multicolor hair. We are going to combine these four types of hair today in these four different colors. And we are going to place them like cornrows along her head. So I'm going to start with sectioning her head and with covering the sections with acrylics. And after this I can take my rerouting tool and plant all these new hair strands into the head. And here is finally the end result. It took me really two evenings to complete the hair. I've also added a lighter hair accent to the middle of the dark blue hair here on the front. And now I think it looks quite finished. Now I can add tacky glue inside of the head and then I will let it dry for 24 hours. When the glue gets completely dry, I cover the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I can start sketching her face using watercolor pencils. And actually for her skin tone, I want to use these amazing metallics and shimmery, how they're called, pearl sand pastels from Pan Pastels. Not sponsored unfortunately, because their products are pricey, but they're really way better than any other product on the market. There is just one problem with using these pastels on dolls. You know, I seal every single layer of my work with a matte sealant, with the famous Mr. Super Clear. And this sealant kind of kills all this beautiful pearly and metallic shine. I've tried already these three metallic shades already a couple of times, and I wasn't really sure about the result. And the rest of them are brand new. But you know guys, let's give them a proper try today and we will see where it will lead us. There is no other way to learn it anyway than to try it on a doll. I have no idea by the way if they're skin safe, not sure about it, probably not. What is there inside? There is mica, iron oxide, you know, something else in them. But anyway, I better go wash my hands immediately. But anyway, check it out. It looks so pretty, not normal on your skin, really. It's like the best eyeshadows ever. But anyway, now let's see how it's gonna look on the doll's face. So, I start with a layer of blue pastels. Then I apply a layer of purples. And 
then a touch of pink to make her face a little bit cuter. Well, as expected, most of this pearl scent effect is gone, but her skin tone looks very pretty anyway, the colors are very gentle and it's not patchy or chalky at all. So, meanwhile I'm working on her eye makeup, I want to give her bright green-blue eyeshadows, kind of matching the green in her hair. And for this I will have to layer pencils and pastels a little bit to get a really bright blue color. Her eyes I want to make very light, really almost white, with some silver shine possibly. Her lips I want to make bright pink, like a neon pink color. When I'm happy with the intensity of the colors, I can start drawing highlights and shadows and then again more highlights and then again more shadows, so everything is like usually. I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and then using the same white acrylics I draw some lines on her eyelids because you know this is maybe the biggest makeup trend on Mars in robot beauty community right now who knows or not right now like right then in the future so I just want to create some sort of a little bit unusual makeup unusual eyeliner then I take a super fine brush and I fill in all these lines, all these patterns carved into her skin. You know, I want this blueprint design to be visible because I think that it looks very pretty and it deserves to be more shown in her makeup. And then this power button on her forehead, I want to make neon yellow. So, what else? The ears. Okay, the outside of the ears I cover with neon pink paint. And to the middle of the speakers I want to apply this crystal acrylic paint. Basically, it's just a mix of different kinds of iridescent glitter in a transparent base. At first it looks quite chunky, but you know it looks really pretty when it dries, so I think it would look really good here. So, while the glitter is drying, and it will take a while because I've applied a thick layer of it, I will work quickly on her body to make it the same color like her face. So, first of all, I sand it with nail buffers to remove this slippery glossy top from the surface and to make it completely matte. Then I spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I apply the same pastels like we've just used on her face. And I also paint all these patterns on her skin using white acrylics. So here are the face and the body together, now guys I will let them for a while and we will move on to the outfit and to the accessories, because I have really a lot of job to do there. 
And actually to start I'm going to work on these syringes. I've bought a bunch of them in different sizes. Of course I will need just two or maximum three of them. But I've got more to have some extras, you know, in case if something goes wrong, if I mess it up and stuff. So, and now I'm going to fill them in with epoxy mixed with neon acrylics. I will also fill in a couple of these tops from the smallest syringes because I have some, you know, special plans for them later. And then I've got also a couple of these neon yellow straws and I will fill them in with this epoxy resin as well. So now I will let it cure for 24 hours and meanwhile I think we can make an outfit for our nurse. You can see I've already cut out all the details out of this silver fabric and now I will make a pair of leggings and a top for her, starting probably with the leggings. So here are the leggings, now let's move on to the top. So now I want to attach a piece of this frilled mesh to the neck part of the top because I think it would look quite interesting here, at least me personally I like the way these old fashioned details look in futuristic outfits, I don't know I think it's quite an interesting contrast. And look, I've got here these adorable tiny gears and I think I want to attach them to the neck of the top.
So here is the finished top, looks cute, and now I still want to make a super simple mini skirt out of this see-through fabric. It's the same color like the mesh on her neck, but it's a little bit thicker. So, and then I will put the skirt on top of the leggings. So this is what I've made guys and now I want to make a belt back for my doll. Meanwhile the resin is already cured and I will start with cutting the straw into shorter pieces. Making I don't know like tiny bullets or capsules something like this with this neon yellow liquid inside. I don't know this is probably super modern medicine, some potion that can cure all diseases in the world. And it can also be used as a power or some sort of a fuel for our nurse lady. So she will have a lot of these little bullets, little capsules with these neon liquids in her outfit. So here are the tiny bullets and I will make a belt out of warbler thermoplastic. Now I want to add a tiny back to the belt and the back I will make out of this thick foam and first of all I will give it a round shape. I will make it a little bit thinner, smooth out all these corners and then I will glue it to the belt. Okay, done, this is it, looks good, so now let's probably paint it with acrylics. Then I take a piece of foam, I cut out a tiny cross out of it and I attach this cross to the back because, you know, our girl is a nurse and this is a nurse back on a nurse belt and it's supposed to be visible and clear to everyone who meets her in space that this is a nurse girl. So I paint this cross as well and after this I'm going to take this thing for nail art, it's like a silver sticker to make lines and stripes on your nails and I'm going to attach it to the back and to the belt. apply a layer of glossy acrylic varnish on top of it, it will hold the sticker on place and after this I think we can finally insert the neon bullets to the belt and then we'll put it on the doll.
So, and now I think we can start working on her boots because this is the next part of our project today. And I've decided to use this pair of Monster High boots as a basis for my space boots because I kind of like the shape of them. I like that there is no heels. They look kind of spacey. The shape is unusual. So, I'm going to start with attaching a couple of straps of Warbler to it. Now let's cover the black part of the boots with silver acrylics. The straps of Warbler I'm covering with white acrylics and afterwards I will decorate them with the same silver stripes that we've just used to decorate her back. And a couple of silver rhinestones to complete the design. So guys, here are our glamorous space nurse boots and you know what? I was just looking for a doll for my next makeover and I found this amazing coat in my stock. It comes from some Monster High doll, I don't know even exactly from which one. I immediately thought it was like meant to become a part of my space nurse project. I think it fits more than perfectly here. like. I don't know, like some sort of a futuristic nurse coat on top of her outfit, really perfect. It's like some gift from a universe I've got suddenly. So guys, and now it's finally time for the biggest part of today's project. Now we're going to take these syringes and we're going to turn them into a futuristic syringe space gun. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. I have this idea already for months in my head and I'm happy I'm gonna finally make it today. So I'm gonna start with some smaller preparations like removing this plastic around the syringe, cutting off a sharp top of a needle, all the stuff like this. Then I also want to make this smaller syringe shorter. And I also want to remove all this branding from the syringes with pure acetone. Yeah, and after this I think we will be able to start building finally. I will use thick foam as well as foam tubes of different diameters and a glue gun of course to build the basic shape of the gun.
of this gun I'm gonna make out of a piece of this round foam tube for this I'm cutting off a slice about one centimeter thick approximately and I'm shaping it to fit the top part of the gun then I'm making three holes in it using my Dremel tool and then I'm attaching the handle to the syringe. And the needle of our syringe I'm going to make out of a toothpick. So guys, now we're done with the building. It was pretty exciting, I can tell you honestly. And the next step is painting the gun with acrylics and I start with a couple of layers of white. On top of the white I apply a couple of layers of yellow neon paint Then I apply black acrylics because silver paint will show up on it better than on the white acrylic paint And then we will follow up with the silver Okay, I think I'm done with painting and now it's time to finish it up with this silver tape. I think it will bring everything together and it will give everything like a finished look. You know guys, first I wanted to make this side of the handle silver. You can see it already, it's been already painted. But you know, I think I want to make a duochrome iridescent like this blue side of it. So I will paint it black again. And then on top of it I will apply a layer of green iridescent acrylics from the same collection like this blue iridescent duochrome. So now let's take a look at these bullets. Do you still remember them guys? We filled them in with epoxy two weeks ago. Well, for me two weeks ago. Now I still need to work a little bit more on them. And I want to make this outside of the bullets more bright and more pretty. And now guys, check it out. Look, look how perfectly they fit into these holes in the handle as well as in the back of the gun. Just check it out. Now our nurse can literally reload her gun with new portion of these neon potions all the time. I'm really happy as a kid about the way it works. And I think that our gun has been officially finished, guys. So now I think we can move on and work on her hair a little bit. And first of all, I'm going to braid her hair section by section, kind of color by color, making cornrows, like I told you in the beginning. So 
So guys, this is how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think exactly like I've planned it. So and now I want to take this new mini device that I've bought really lately. I've got it last week probably. And I want to crimp this doll's hair. And we will also see how this machine works if it gives a good effect on doll's hair. Yep, it works pretty good, it seems. Welcome to the family. A new hair device, a new hair crimper. So, and this is what I've got in the end. It looks really pretty, I think. I really love her hair today. So, now I think I can attach the false lashes. Then I will add a touch of silver acrylics to the middle of the irises of her eyes. And then I will cover the eyes and the lips with glossy acrylic varnish. And after this, we will make still another tiny piece of an accessory for our doll. So, look guys, I have here a tiny cross a spring out of a pen and I also cut a piece of a foam tube and now out of this strange set of supplies we will make something like a mini nurse hat that will be at the same time an antenna of our mini robot And here we go guys, here is our mini antenna hat, looks super cute I think. Now let's install it to her hat and then we can probably take a look at the end result pictures. And by the way to activate the neon effect of the paint, I will use a lamp that I usually use to dry my gel nail polish. Sorry I don't have anything better to activate uh, you know UV paint, neon paint. But you know it works perfectly so why not so and here is finally my finished space cyber nurse i can tell you honestly guys it was quite a big project this time and it's gonna be probably a very long video today because we've made quite a lot of accessories and for example guys just to give you an idea just making and painting the gun took me three full days but I'm actually quite proud of it now, especially the way you can reload the bullets still makes me very, very, very happy. And all in all, I think this doll perfectly looks like she's coming straight from the future to heal all of us with her magic potion. Well, the neon paint glows like it should. I don't know, guys, honestly, why I've neglected the existence of neon paint for such a long time. I don't know, I think we should make more glowing neon dolls. So if you have any good ideas for my future neon projects, please write them down in the comment section under this video. You know, I'm always open for your suggestions. Well, in the next weeks, I hope we will make another Glow in the Dark doll for the winner, for the second winner of my collab slash competition. But you know, if Post would be so kind to deliver this outfit that my mom has shipped more than three weeks ago. Because you know, I'm kind of stuck with this Glow in the Dark project at the moment because of this. I'm just sitting and waiting for the outfit to arrive. But yeah, there is nothing to do, I guess, just to sit and to wait and meanwhile working on other dolls. So, and this doll is available for sale right now. She will be on eBay for three days, like always. The link you will find in the description box under this video. So, you know it all if you watch my videos more or less regularly. 
So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. I really hope that you had fun with me today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon in my new toy paint video. Love you guys. Bye.